हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेट इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information article quote the minister of finance and the us ambassador today discuss efforts to achieve economic reforms They strengthened bilateral relationships between the two United States and Iraq with a focus on economic cooperation. I like that part. The meeting discussed the development road project that connects Iraq to Europe through Turkey and is one of the largest strategic and vital project making Iraq the link between Asia and Europe. That is unbelievable and it's given a finality to it. I like it. First, Let's understand what these reforms are all about. The Central Bank of Iraq, or CBI, is at a critical juncture. Their goal is to stabilize and boost the economy with a set of reforms. This involves currency policy adjustments, boosting economic growth, and restoring local and international investors' trust. The target date for these changes is early 2025. Now, why does this matter? The reforms are supposed to help with inflation, unemployment, and investment. If Iraq can achieve these reforms on schedule, it could lead to a stronger and more stable economy. So, does the CBI have a timetable? Yes, they do. Here's how it breaks down. They're focusing on setting clear milestones between now and the end of the year. Each milestone helps ensure they're progressing toward the 2025 deadline. Step 1 involves assessing the current economic landscape. This means understanding the inflation rate, currency status, and employment numbers. Next, they're developing policies and stages. The first stage focuses on immediate impacts like inflation control. Then, they address mid-term issues such as employment and investment. Finally, they aim for long-term stability and growth by 2025. Now, how are they doing so far? Reports show the CBI is indeed following this timetable closely. They have regular updates and meetings to track progress. These meetings often include international advisors and local experts. This collaborative approach helps them adjust the plan as needed. But let's not forget timelines like these come with challenges. Political instability and changing oil prices can affect progress. Yet, the CBI remains committed to the timeline despite these hurdles. Let me share a quick story here. In a recent meeting, the CBI's governor expressed optimism. He mentioned that early indicators are positive. The currency, though unstable, is showing signs of strengthening. This confidence is crucial for instilling public trust. Now, it's your turn. Do you think the CBI will meet their 2025 target? Today we're diving into the fascinating world of global finance. Have you ever wondered why so many central banks are increasing their reserves with the Iraqi dinar? In today's video, we're going to break it down. Plus, There's some noise about a potential revaluation happening soon. Let's explore if that's true. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's get started. First off, let's look at the big news. Iraq has increased its reserves at the IMF by 50%. This is not just a random move. It's part of a strategic game plan that many central banks around the world are following. You might be asking, why the Iraqi dinar? Well, it's no secret that countries are seeking safe havens for their reserves. Iraq, despite its turbulent history, has huge potential with its rich oil reserves. 
oil is still a dominant force in the global economy. This makes the Iraqi dinar an attractive and potentially rewarding reserve option. Now, let's talk about the buzz surrounding the revaluation, or RV for short. There have been rumors and speculations that the Iraqi dinar might be revalued between the 22nd and 26th of October. Why is this significant? If you are new to the term RV, a currency revaluation can dramatically impact global economics. Sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. Let's look at what a potential RV could mean. Imagine holding a currency that suddenly doubles or triples in value. For investors and countries with large reserves, this is like striking gold. So, naturally, everyone is curious and wants in on the action. Why now, though? Experts suggest a few reasons. 1. Stability in Iraqi governance has improved in recent years. This factors into global confidence. 2. International support and partnerships are growing for Iraq. This includes infrastructure projects and economic collaborations. 3. Diversifying reserve currency can mitigate risk which central banks are keen on right now. All of this aligns with the buzz about a potential RV. But, caution is always advisable. Nothing is set in stone until official announcements take place. Investors should be aware of the volatility and inherent risks. And now, for those thinking to invest in the dinar, tread carefully. It's always wise to consult a financial advisor before making any decisions. Let's switch gears and focus on some instances of currency revaluation. Historically, countries like China have revalued their currency to control inflation and stabilize their economy. This can be a strategic decision that impacts domestic and international financial landscapes. But let's not forget, not all revaluations lead to positive outcomes. Sometimes, they can backfire if not managed correctly. The way forward could be mixed with speculation and anticipation, depending on the announcement. So as October unfolds, many eyes will be watching Iraq closely. Are you keeping tabs on this too? If so, let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Your insights might surprise us. We've covered quite a bit today, from Iraq's IMF reserves increase to the buzz around the dinar's revaluation. It's an exciting topic with potentially big implications. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit the like button. Share it with your friends who might be interested in international finance. And of course, please subscribe for more content like this. Finally, let us know your thoughts on the potential RV. Are you a skeptic or a believer? Drop your comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.